Do you have any desires to want to get out of this life? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. What steps are you taking? Um, so I'm trying to get a hold of a pastor right now of an old church. He has a rehab in Florida, I think, somewhere. Mm -hmm. I want to go somewhere like that just to relax and just to, you know, yeah. get away for a while, clear my mind, clear my head, and then go from there. Tyler Atkins. Uh, Tyler Atkins. Where are we at? West side of Columbus? Yep. Yeah. All right, what's what's going on? What's what's life like out out here? It's uh, it's pretty rough sometimes. Yeah, like you said before, uh, you said you were homeless here. Yeah, I'm homeless. Yeah, run it down for me. What's 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 a day to day for you? Uh, try to get enough food to just you know just kind of hang in there. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much. What are your prices? Because I know when I walked up, you asked about a blowjob. Yeah. What are the prices? What are the rates? Okay, well, every girl's uh, individually uh, making their own price. Okay. But we're going to say on an average, average day, mostly would be 40 to $60. And that's just for a head? That's just for head, but that's for, um, I'm going to say, uh, younger, uh, more uh, more uh, attractive women because... How did how did this come about? I don't really know. Yeah? I don't really know. What age? I really don't know. Huh. Yeah? <laughs> A lot of these girls out here, especially the older ones... Uh-huh. And we're gonna say, strung out, very drug addicted girls. Mm -hmm. They'll do anything from 10 to $20. Right, right. And, and I'm not, I personally ain't going for that. Now I struggle with addiction, but I'm not. I try to aim high and then. Meet somewhere in the middle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm a nurse, I've been to college, all that, you know? Really? Mm hmm. Yeah. You gotta get help. Yeah. Got to get out of this shit. So the state took my kids and gave them custody to my mom and my dad. My mom and my dad still do what they did. So. Damn. So we're, we're they're in Delaware, you said. In North Lewisburg, yeah. What do you think led to it? As far as like, was it substances or just um, wanting to get away from parenting or? Uh. I was just trying. I just kept trying to. I don't know, it's like I was looking for something and I never knew what I was looking for. Yeah, yeah. If there's any message that you could tell the youth mm -hmm. or people that are like right on the edge of this lifestyle and trying to do right, what would you tell these people that are just thinking about it? To really think about it, write it down, write a letter to yourself, do a diary, really get your thoughts out and know what you want, you know what I mean? Um, if that's what you want, that's what you want. Because there's been days where it's like, no, that's what I want, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know. I noticed you said you uh, struggle with addiction. What's the drug of choice? Uh, mine would be uh, crack cocaine, but um, and fentanyl. Mm -hmm. But that's what everybody out here is pretty much struggling with. It's, right. It, it's the fentanyl that's killing people and uh, making people to where sick to where like a uh, how the heroin was doing people where you, your body needs it and you get sick day to day if you don't have that in your system. How old are you? Thirty. Thirty. And how long have you been out here? You say? Uh, on and off ten years. Ten years. What's what's the um. Like, how do the people treat you here? As far as like just seeing you out and about, they treat me well. Yeah, that's good. All that's good. All things considering, you know. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Have you um, encountered the trank? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, if I could show you on me, I have little marks and stuff. Uh, what you would say, like wounds. Is there like a drug of choice that you uh, prefer here or not really I can do a little bit of everything a little bit of everything yeah
therapist know what you're getting into. Yeah. You know, it's but hard you, to get out. You definitely wouldn't recommend it. Right, it's too, it, I mean, the money comes too easy, and um, the decisions come too quick, and eventually, once you get past that point of, like, morals and values are gone. Right. It's now all downhill from there. All right. Is there anything else you'd like to say or share? No, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. All right.